Well, here we are, October, the last quarter of 2021 begins. And as promised, I have started connecting the ears. Um, it's not necessarily going all that well. Um, a lot of problems uh, that I'm experiencing, I guess they're problems generated by the fact that I've never really done anything on this scale before. Uh, well, not in terms of a head. Um, what is the difference between a head and, uh, for example, the very large David Torso study? Well, it's this, that with the David Torso study, I was able to build something that was a, a, a sort of 360-degree structure, so a volume rather than um, a surface, or uh, a surface that fully enclosed a volume. And this gave it rigidity. And um, the first thing that I'm realizing here is that it's harder than I imagined to, uh, to fight against gravity. So my, fir my strategy, uh, first time I've used it, is to fix in these bars, which I'm hoping will uh, serve two purposes, a, a sort of um, reference line, and also um, prevent the head kind of collapsing in on itself. Um, the other obvious difficulty with working on this scale is that to hang it in a position where I can realistically get work done means that it sort of continually and subtly shifts in its tilt, which makes it a bit difficult to... Um, well, place things correctly. How is this manifested practically? Well, if you look at the, uh, the left, his left ear, there's a basic proportion, which is the distance from the corner of the eye to the back of the ear, and the distance from the corner of the eye to the chin is about the same. And they don't look the same to me. Um, and there's a number of reasons. One is that the ears have just become larger, perhaps, than they need to be, uh, than they should be. Uh, but the other is a question of perspective. So when I've tried to measure this distance, it really is about the same. But is that because of how the tape measure is curving? you know, over the surface. And I've tried measuring it internally and I still seem to get um, a satisfactory answer and yet the ear seems to be in the wrong place. But could that be an optical illusion brought about by the fact that um, the head, that, well, I should say the ear, is at the extremity of the head so far? And perhaps when I've completed the whole head, uh, it'll look right. I just don't know. One thing I am confident of is that when it, it's all tied together, it will be an impressive head. And keeping that in mind kind of gives me the strength to carry on. It's a, a step forward. It's a great learning piece. It will be wrong in a multitude of ways. Well, wrong as much as art is ever right or wrong. It will be what it is. Uh, and therefore, it will be neither wrong nor right. It will just be. Uh, but I'm trying to do something. And perhaps rather than say right or wrong, I could put it like this. Uh, will I succeed in doing what I've been trying to do? Well, I'm sure I won't exactly, but this is the first time I've tried to do it on this scale, so I have to accept that uh, that's the price you pay. Um, 
you can always get away with overly large ears because ears are are not uniform. Um, you can get away with small noses because noses are not uniform. Um, the combination of ear and nose will be less David-like than I'd like it to be. That's okay. This will give me something to do on the next large David head, which perhaps won't be quite as large as this one. Um, but I say that, and it probably will be. Um, because as frustrating as it is doing this sometimes... Um, it's also quite exciting because it, in my mind I can picture how it's going to be when it's nestled in that far back corner taking up all of that space dominating that space and I think that'll be quite exciting it'll be quite uh, it will be a powerful object, uh, a powerful image. It will have something to say. It will have something to say will be, which will be uniquely of itself and certainly not exactly what I intended. And that is the way of art, I guess. Um, I saw an interesting comment uh, uh, from Austin Kleon, although it's not his idea, he was... Um, talking about something someone else had said but it was in his um, blog that I get via a newsletter and Austin made, an, made the following point that he was talking about book summaries and he said you know as someone else had said if you can summarize a book in a few key points in a 10 minute video is it really worth reading the book is the book actually any good? Um, and this is tr will be true of my reinterpretations of David. If at the end you look at it and you just say, just say oh, that's a copy of the statue of David, rather than it is the thing it is, uh, as a unique piece of art if you just look at it and say oh he copied David bravo um, what was the point really because there's already a David this is my David it will be different um, and this study is uh, simply a piece on the path towards making that um, final, different, inspired piece. Well, that's it. Let me know what you think. Um, as always, trust your well, um, and your lives are filled with joy. And until one month from now, ciao.